Брюс Ли и Морта. Welterweight Division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one is tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Fighting out of your Belinda, California, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. inside these walls here at Newark, New Jersey. Good to have you with us live from the Prudential Center here tonight. I remember back in 2016, you, your boy Rumble Johnson had a big moment against Ryan Bader inside this arena. I mean, Ryan Bader was so scared. He shot from halfway across the octagon, right. and Rumble beat him up within 20 seconds, and the people exploded. And that is the reaction you get when you are able to put on that type of performance in front of these knowledgeable fans. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a encyclopedia of knowledge and threw it all the way back. But those knees will definitely take effect the longer this fight goes. Pretty good series of knees by him there, DC. He told us on Thursday he felt like they would be there. They have been there. They have been there, and he is driving them into his opponent's body. It's hard to watch. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. That knee might have landed there. Another nice knee there. 
Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Another knee by Lee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know you I do. think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights, and he's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of his opponent. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time if you guys are in close. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Well, we know knees to be some of the most destructive strikes in MMA, and he's got that part of his game going tonight. He has got the knees going. He's throwing them in bunches. Well, he has stayed technical, but he is really starting to chew up the opposition now. He came out super aggressive, as aggressive as all. Lee the vets on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Rock. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Left hand punch with the punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back and forth we go! <laughs> Misses with that punch. Powerful leg kick lands. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? There it is, that's that one, they're right here. Try to establish that jab. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Pushing Fuso at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You've got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to it's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, we're getting the finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Again, side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke will be there. Ovin St. Pru has got to like that transition there. Tonight. Full guard now, DC. For the top fighter, you got to be very careful because most submissions come from the full guard. So advance to half. Try to build posture. But if you're the bottom person, the moment your opponent tries to move to the next position, build a shield. Kick off the hips and get back to your feet. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Are you ready? You ready? Second round underway. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Good jab. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Got the single collar tie. 
Unbelievable. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Back to the feet now. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. Landed a big kick there. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. He has a bit of kick it tonight and it shows. The right hook to the body. Oh, big knee. Both guys landing with conviction now. That was a thudding leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you? That is how you should remember, folks. Big ball to punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Get my hand. Again, they will clinch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That strike blocked by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. How good is that right hand? Nice kick. These guys are going at it. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. attempt now looks as though he's got the neck. get a finish here oh look at this jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine maybe going with that von flu choker i guess we should probably call it the osp at this point the sheer will is is really remarkable to watch all right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. Ten minutes in the books. Let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big kick land. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Whiffs on that offering. And he landed the right hand there. Went for the inside leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Beautiful strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing oh, great nice work. Nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. you got to hit the elbows and side, because otherwise you're going to land one that's going to shut everything down. A nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right. I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it, John. Stop it. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Battling for hooks. He blocks the shot. Head kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Oh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds as he a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this one. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Single collar tie now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, just try to find space. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to... All right, so high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance. Lee's attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal.
all about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his punch. Thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Great punch. Let's get some offense. Let's get Oh, that's a beautiful left hand counter. He continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Left hand punch with the clinch. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. All right, single collar tie now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Right hand upstairs. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Massive knee to the body land. Nice leg kick land. Ooh. Wow. Single collar tie there. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, what a punch. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Visibly limping here. Got the single collar tie. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Way to hide that leg kick. What a punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Some nice back and forth action here. Leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking this one. Oh! He's out! He got him! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. 
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also 